to men out there who wants to quit the jobs on there. I'm going to be honest with you, it's not easy. Seriously, it's not easy. The first thing which you need to do is try to cut out the cost. When you try to cut out the cost, it's a good thing. That means there are some things you would like to do, try to cut it. And an example of that is if you like drinking out on Saturday or on the weekend, try to do it less. If you have expensive car and the costs are high, try to cut it. Because do you really need it? Think about those things. Try to make a list of things that you need to ask yourself, do you really need it? If you don't, just cut it. And the thing is, when you, while you're working, try to work less, take less hour, but try to figure out, do some research online. What can you do in order to make some extra income? What can you do in order to get some extra money? What can you do in order that when you leave your work, you can still do that and earn a lot of money? I'm not saying it's easy. Seriously, I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy to find out what you can do in order to earn money. But what easy is to find, figure out what problems people are having. If you look at what problems people are having and if you can solve them, why not ask them money for it? At the beginning, it cannot be much, but later it, um, you can, can earn money from that. I'm not saying you have to do that for the rest of your life. I'm just saying when you look at those things, when you study them, when you do some research, you will figure out something what you can do. You see a lot of people online giving advice what you can do, but nobody knows that much better than you do. You know what you can and what you cannot do. You know what skills you have and what skills you don't have. And what people most time underestimate is you work somewhere. You work at the company. See how they work. See why you're there. See what skills you are using. Look at the customer. Learn from the customer. Maybe you can create a similar company. I'm not saying you should copy it. I'm not saying that. Seriously. And note it down. I'm not saying you should copy them. What I'm saying is learn how they use your skills and think about what you can do in order to use your skill to do your own thing. Some people are cut out to create their own business. Yes, they can. There's no problem with that. Some people, they are not. But what you can do is you can just start as a freelancer. So you work and you do part-time freelancer. Some company, they forbid that, but they cannot do that always. Right. They can put in your contract. You're not allowed to work somewhere, no compete and all those stuff. I can understand that. But they cannot stop you for the rest of your life. So the next time if you get a new contract and they put it again in it, you'll be like, hey, listen, if you're going to put that in my contract, increase my salary. Otherwise, don't put it in it. Yeah, it depends all on your negotiation position. But what I'm trying to say is if you want to quit your job some, um, someday, Right now, focus on your work, but also focus what you can do afterwards. Plan your day in. If you, if you finish at 5 or if you finish at 6, figure out, okay, you go home. At 8, you're going to focus on what you can do. Uh, focus on doing some research in order to figure out what problems people are having and what you can do in order to solve this problem and much how, you can, how much you can ask those people. It's that simple. But the thing is, sometimes you have people, they do night shift. Yes, night shift is the same. Or before night shift, you're going to do your research. Or, or after night shift, you're going to do your research. So let's say you have night shift at 8 until the morning. Yeah. What you can do is from 6 to 8, you're going to do your research. And then you go to work. And after work, bam, you're going to go to sleep. And the next day, the same day. Keep that in mind. The thing is, everybody has the same time. And the thing is, the question is, how do you use your time? And is it worth it for wake, um, working for someone for a long time? Or is it worth it if you do what you can do and start making your own money? If you have questions about these things or if you have questions about other things, feel free to contact me on Discord or Law Center. There I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, seriously, subscribe right now. The videos that I'm making are free. You can watch them. Why not subscribe? I hope you like this video. See you in the next one. Bye.